going to be doing a brand comparison on the Sedona Lace Stick It To Em Eye Primer and also the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm also going to be talking a little bit about the Elf Eyelid Primer. So this is kind of like a from really cheap review to one that's in the middle and then one that is expensive and high end. So I'm really excited to bring you guys this. I know buying eye primer can be kind of expensive because you want something that works really well, but you also want something that is affordable because it's something you use every single day so you will have to purchase it you know, more frequently than some other products. So I hope you guys enjoy this and hopefully you can find something you really want to try out. So currently right now I'm wearing the Urban Decay Primer Potion on my right eye and then the Sedona Lace Stick It To Em Eye Primer on my left eye. And I'm looking in my makeup mirror right now in natural sunlight and I can't see any difference whatsoever in my eyeshadow. They both look very even, the color is very vibrant. I am wearing like a bright purple eyeshadow with like a darker purple smoked into the crease. And then I also have some shimmery um, champagne eyeshadow on the inner corners of my eyes. So I wanted to really test this out with different types of eyeshadows. I've been taking pictures over time so I've really been giving this a couple weeks to test out the Sedona Lace Stick It To Em Eye Primer because I did get this back when I reviewed the um, Midnight Lace brushes. I had mentioned this that I wanted to do a review on it, but I thought it would be more helpful to compare it to some different eye primers at different prices so you can really see if it's worth it and which one you want to try out. So, uh, But I just want to start off by saying I absolutely love this. I think it is a great primer and I would highly recommend it, especially for the price. So to start off, it is about $8 on the website or I think it's like $7.96 or something. Yeah, $7.96, and um, it comes in this little box right here. It's in like a kind of red, well, the box looks like a magenta red, like metallic color, and then um, the eye primer is in like a red tube. I really like the tube kind because you can squeeze out just the right amount of product for what you want. Um, this is the old Urban Decay Primer Potion packaging. They now do have a squeeze tube, but the old one was still in this like potion bottle shape, and it's so annoying because you can't get out all the product um, like around the rim. You waste a lot of product when you have to throw it out. So, um, But I have seen people who have cut into this and actually like dug out the rest of the eye primer. So I'll probably do that once I get to the bottom of that. But I have been using this pretty much every single day since I got it and I really like it. I think it is highly comparable and it's definitely worth the $8. So the Urban Decay Primer Potion retails for $20. You can find it at Ulta, Sephora, Amazon, like different websites and stuff like that. So $20. This one is $8, and then I also have here the e.l.f. Mineral Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I did get this a long time ago, but I didn't want to try it out here recently just because it is older, so I didn't want to put the product on my eyes since it's a few years old, and it's starting to look a little bit like cracked in here. But I do remember I really liked this primer, and I think it's only a dollar. It might be $3 since it's the mineral one. But I do remember that the mineral one is much better than the old one. But it's not like a holy grail eye primer. If you are just starting off with makeup, if you're younger, you don't want to spend a lot of money on something like this, then I definitely would recommend this just to start off with. But keep in mind, it's not going to make your eyeshadows look super vibrant, and it's not going to provide that coverage on your eyelid to make your eyeshadow look flawless but it is gonna help it go on a little bit better and keep it from creasing as bad. This probably did crease a little bit because it's not like extremely high quality, but it is doable if you don't have a lot of money to spend on something. But now the Sedona Lay Stick It To Em Eye Primer. If you're able to order online, I would definitely recommend getting this. It's only $8 and it does pretty much the exact same thing as the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've worn them both on my eyes different times, tested them with different eyeshadows for long periods of time. I wear my makeup for more than 12 hours some days. Like I'll put it on early in the morning, um, probably around like 7, sometimes 6 o'clock in the morning. Actually, I put it on at 6 o'clock this morning and sometimes I don't go to bed till like midnight. So that's over 12 hours of wear. That's like, what, 18 hours of wear um, and it still looks pretty good. It, of course, isn't going to look as fresh as it does in the morning, but it's not like really gross looking to where I couldn't even go out in public. So um, and that's with both of these. Um, I've used this for years. I really love it. If you like to splurge on high-end products and you really want like the most excellent eye primer you can get, definitely recommend this one. But for like much cheaper price, probably like what a quarter of the price, you can get something that works just as good. So I definitely recommend this. Um, as far as the amount of products, you get 15 milliliters in here. And in this one you get 16.3, but this is an abnormal size bottle. I have the other one in my vanity that I used to have. I ordered this probably two years ago and it was actually a deluxe size, so this isn't the same size bottle as the old packaging of this. 
And another thing that is also amazing about this Sedona Lace Eye Primer is you get more product for less money. So I have here on the Urban Decay website that the, the new Urban Decay, the Squeeze 2 bottle, is 0.37 ounces, and this one is 0.51 ounces. So you get more product in it, and it's a fraction of the price. So, so you only need a tiny little bit. I'll show you on my hand about how much I use, and I'll show you an up close of it but it's gonna last you such a long time. So I'm gonna show you here on my hand about how much I squeeze out. Probably less than even that much for my whole eye. That's probably even too much. And you can see how it blends out. It actually has a little bit of a tint to it, which I really love. I feel like it gives my eye coverage, which I have a lot of like veins and stuff on my eyes, so I love that about it. It just makes it to where it's a more even canvas, so you can put on your eyeshadow and it's not going to go all over the place. It's going to hold to it and make it stick to it. That's probably why it's called Stick It To Him Eye Primer. And then it also will help your eyeshadow look more vibrant because it has like a little bit of a color tint to it. So it's almost like putting on a nude base underneath because it does have a little bit of a coverage. Not as much as a paint pot would or like a color tattoo, but it does have a little bit. So that's really great to know. And it's just super creamy. I can still feel it on my hand. So you can tell the difference or you can feel the difference between my hand and then where I have it. It's kind of like a feels almost like when you have lotion on your skin where it's not like super sticky but it does have that texture to where when you can put your eyeshadow on and it's going to stick to it so it's really nice and it just blends out so evenly and it's super soft and once it soaks in like you can just apply your eyeshadow flawlessly it doesn't get all over the place and it will just stay in that one area. So the only problem that I had with this eye primer is when I use, I use my Too Faced Natural Eye Kit and in that palette there is Silk Teddy which is a super shimmery almost like creamy and texture eyeshadow it's very soft and velvety feeling and it's like my all-time favorite eyeshadow but it has like this texture that it's like super pigmented but it's kind of like i said creamy so that eyeshadow creases with this primer now i don't have that problem at all with the urban decay primer potion but with this one i do notice a little bit of creasing especially when i use a color tattoo underneath of it um, the Maybelline Color Tattoos are an eye base. They are very creamy. So I think between all those textures of having like the cream eyeshadow and then putting that very silky, very shimmery eyeshadow over top, the shimmer kind of transfers to my creases a little bit here on the inside. And I do have a picture of that. I will show you right here. But that is the only problem that I've had with this. I've used other brands of shimmery eyeshadow. I've even used other shimmery eyeshadows from this palette like these. Don't have a problem with them. Even with this one, it's a lot more metallic in texture and I didn't notice any creasing so I don't know what it is about that eyeshadow but I do get creasing with this primer with it. I've used shimmery eyeshadows from my Coastal Scents palette, from my BH Cosmetics palette. Um, I'm wearing one right now that is a um, NYX eyeshadow on the inside of my eyes or the inner corner of my eyes and I don't have any creasing so I'm not sure what that is about that but that is one thing I wanted to point out but I just thought I would throw that in there in case if you guys really like that eyeshadow too just keep in mind that it does crease maybe I'm applying too much or something maybe if you apply less of this and then also less of the eyeshadow it won't crease as much but um, that is one thing that I've noticed so for the most part this primer has everything that you want it to do. It keeps your eyeshadow lasting longer, keeps it from creasing, makes it look more vibrant, and makes it to where you can apply your shadows evenly and it doesn't get like patchy and stuff. Worth the $8 if you don't want to repurchase your Urban Decay or you don't want to pay that much for like Too Faced Shadow Insurance or something like that. Definitely try this out for yourself. And they do have a great return policy as well. So if you try it out and you don't like it, you can always send it back. So that is my comparison video on those three different eyeshadow primers. Please let me know if you guys have tried out any of those, especially the Sedona Lace Stick It To Him Eye Primer. If you use that and you love it, please let me know if you tried it out and you don't like it. Leave it in the comments below so we can check out your opinions as well. But I'll have more pictures and comparison stuff on my blog. Okay. Also, I will have my Sedona Lace Midnight Lace brush review linked down below and look forward to a review on the Vortex brush set coming very soon as well as a giveaway so I'm super excited for that and I'm very thankful to be working with Sedona Lace but definitely recommend the brand and I hope you guys enjoy those reviews and stuff so like this video if you enjoy these comparison videos and let me know in the comments down below if there's any similar products of the brand you would like for me to compare I have I think one or two other videos where I did this similar thing I will link you guys for that down below thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already bye everyone